thanks for your time today. This is Richard at MagnaFlow, and today we're going to be installing one of our Jeep exhaust systems. We have a variety of different systems out there. We're going to be putting one of our high clearance Jeep rock crawler systems on. Take a closer look. The first step of any installation is installing the inlet pipe. Now, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and use one of our band clamps, slide that over the factory Y pipe, and then slide over the new inlet pipe we're using the factory hanger location. Following the instruction sheet, we're installing from the front to the back. The next particular part in this system is the muffler. Now the muffler in this one is actually in a different than stock position. We relocated the factory muffler position from the back of the car to increase ground clearance to here in the center. Make sure you put your clamp on first and then slide in your muffler. Put the inlet pipe and the muffler and the next step of course is to put in the over the axle. Take note that we're reusing all of the factory hangers. This makes it easier for installation and of course keeps the vibration and noise down inside the cabin. The last step in this particular installation, of course, is the tailpipe. We want to make sure that we install it clearing the shock and the rear bumper. With the entire exhaust system loosely installed, we're going to now go back and make sure all the proper adjustment and alignments made for clearances and tighten from front to back. Now, tightening the system from front to back is critical in making sure everything stays aligned. If you're working away from back to front, you'll find that by the time you get to the front again, the back might be misaligned. One of the unique features of the Jeep rock crawler system is the fact that that muffler has been relocated. As you can see, it used to sit here and it's hang underneath the bumper. We've now taken all of that mass away from the back, added extra clearance. As you can see, we still clear the, the sway bar, the rear end differential, and we've tucked the tip all the way up into the side of the bumper. Again, one of the benefits of the rock crawler system is greater exit angle of departure. With that, we've relocated the tailpipe higher into the chassis, which means, of course, we've exposed the bumper to a little bit more heat. This will mean that you'll have to replace the factory plastic bumper with an aftermarket metal one. And that's the basic procedure for the installation of one of our Jeep systems. Final fitment's critical, make sure you got your clearances, but as you can see, the use of hand tools, a lift, and or some jack stands get you through the entire procedure.